I'm Brad Robinson. I'm the CEO of Predictive Technology Group, which is a holding company for a laboratory company, a diagnostics company, and a regenerative medicine company where we do cellular therapeutics. In reproductive health, uh, we have a lot going on, and that's why we're excited about the collaboration with Thermo Fisher. We're primarily developing diagnostics around reproductive health for women, but it's not just about the diagnostics around the women. We are also developing therapeutics to treat what we learn from those diagnostics. And the goal at the end of the day is to get the most appropriate therapy to the, the patient, in this case reproductive health, but get them to the patient at the earliest possible point of intervention to reduce costs and also improve the patient outcomes. Technology limitations. We all want to do everything faster, cheaper, and more accurately. And that never happens. But in this case with Thermo, with the advance of the sequencing technologies, that's happening. And it's happening not just because of the advance in technology, but it's also happening because of the alignment in the objectives and commitments that Thermo has and that Predictive Laboratories has that have aligned. And it's an absolute commitment from both companies to bring that together. And so it's kind of a sweet spot in where we find ourselves right now on accelerating the development of these technologies. The reason we chose to work with Thermo Fisher Scientific is because of the alignment and goals and objectives of the company. And while we really look at the technologies, uh, Thermo Fisher Scientific has world-class technologies. In some cases, in many cases, they are leading world-class technologies. Other companies have some of those. But at the end of the day, it really came to the synergies between the, between the two companies and the commitment of Thermo Fisher Scientific to help us accelerate through their analytical tools, their technologies, aligned with the assets that we have, which is what we believe is the largest DNA library in the world for women's health and 32 million names in a proprietary ancestry database. Uh, that alignment of the different advantages of Thermo Fisher and the expertise of Thermo Fisher with Predictive really accelerates and de-risks our development programs. As you know, we did a complete build out of our reproductive health lab. We spent about $6 million on product and supplies and completely redid our laboratory. As the CEO, I usually hear when things go bad. I had to keep calling and find out how things were going. And that, that speaks volumes about Thermo Fisher's planning in the different teams, whether it's logistics, whether it's technology, whether it's the team that came to help train on the technology. It really speaks volumes that I didn't have to hear about it very often. But in all my experience of implementing technologies, this was the smoothest transition that we had. The clients or customers of this technology, I would say, are lab techs, the biostatisticians. It's really the employees in our research group. They benefit through improved workflow. Thermo Fisher Scientific has done a lot in this round of technology and the equipment to deal with workflow. You've got the entire sequencing system on a single chip. The chemistries work. It really creates consistency and efficiency in the lab. So I, I guess if we look at it that way that our lab techs are biostatisticians that have to deal with the data and the accuracy of the data, the consistency of the data, uh, that's, that's really the customer in this case. Where does this lead us to in the future? While we've spent an enormous amount of money, we've collected 30,000 samples from research subjects in the area of endometriosis. Uh, it's been expensive to do that. We're not only interested in endometriosis and how it impacts the fertility of the woman. We're interested in how endometriosis impacts the viability of an embryo. You have the extension of the ion platform when you look at ReproSeq, where you can look at sequencing a single cell. We're interested in all the different angles and how we can look at this disease. Where it leads to in the future, even in the case of Thermo Fisher Scientific, if they're considering, I'll give the employees a plug, if they're considering reimbursing IVF for the employees, it's not about the cost of IVF. It's about the cost of this disease and how it impacts the embryo, the viability of the embryo, 
a preterm birth, uh, a full-term birth, developmental issues after the fact, after the birth. It impacts a lot when you look at the cost. It's not simply, can we afford $50,000 for an IVF cycle? It's about the overall cost of that pregnancy and avoiding premature babies and giving those babies the best chance at a full-term birth and the best chance at good health.